So I'm going to kind of walk you through what this app has done. Um, they wanted to, let's say, search by a warehouse that they have for inventory. They go ahead and they click inside of the warehouse. And inside of each of that, those warehouses, they have, you can see the inventory right then and there. They could, or they could search by the item. If they know that, they can see all the warehouses that that item lives in and what the quantity is. You can get into even further detail um, by getting into the, the item um, name, the physical inventory that you have, what is available, what, um, what's on order and sales orders, what's on, what's in, uh, you know, what's currently on order to come in. You can see all that visibility um, right there and it, it all lives within um, finance and operations. Purchase requisitions was another cool feature that we did um, where you could create a new um, purchase rec. From the warehouse, you have um, your employee, your, and your person out in the field. They're in a warehouse, they're like, oh, we need such and such product here. I need to put in a purchase rec for this. So they quickly go into their phone, they type in where it's going. Right away, you can see the warehouse that it had, once we press save, it went right out to finance and operations and pulled back with a number associated with that. This number was not generated in the app itself. It was all done um, in, their, in their ERP system. You can go ahead and add a line. We made some, some different um, tree views where they could go ahead, click in there, um, pull back products in that particular area, Add, add the quantity, and once you press save, it kicks you right back to the that same page. Now you have a line, you can add as many lines as you want. Right when you press submit, it takes you, you can check on my purchase requisitions. You can see that this item right here is in review. That's sent off to their project manager, and they're able to make a purchase order right from there because it's, it's all said and done. So they're, they're in the field, they have their phone with them, do a few clicks, they're done. Now they can move on with their job. Um, transfer orders is the same thing. They take a new transfer order, they have the shipping warehouse and then they where they wanna ship it to. They could go ahead and if they had freight charges, click on this button and more options will pop up. Again, they return this number, nothing in the app itself did any processing, it just sent it out the information and it came back with this. You can add a new line right to it. Transfer quantity, we want to, we could, we could then ship now the full order or we could ship the partial order. We could take, if we were to ship the partial order, another little box would pop up, say how many you want to ship. Well, I don't want to ship eight because that's all I seem to have right now. You could do that. Um, but you want to ship the full order. You can then see when the inbound transfer order, and it's like, well, I know something's coming. So into this warehouse, you can see that that transfer order has been shipped, what day it was shipped. And then if you click it within this, this box here, you'll find all the details of what's coming. Now we have the inbound. Okay, I got this, this, and this. You can receive the full order or you can receive the partial order just like it was before. And you're good to go. You can now, you now see we shipped and received the item and, and that is done. Um, inventory count was the same way. You click in there, you find the warehouse that, that the journal was, was made. Um, the person on the back end says, I created this counting journal. Hey, you know, Mary, Joe, Sue, whoever it is, can you go out there and start counting? They all three could have their apps in their phone. Then, and the second that they press in, four, that four then automatically goes to their finance and operations and returns back to the other phones. They can see that that's already been counted and come back. Um, you could also add a line to this particular one. Say, I wanted to, I found something else, I'm gonna add it to there. That goes into that inventory count as well. 